of Gallery LeRoyer from Montreal. This is a piece by Kate Clark called It Depends. All right, what do we have here? We've got basically actual deer bodies, actual deer antlers, well, the deer necks and the antlers, human faces cast in clay, but still, Okay, in terms of like, you know, you got your lovely mixture of found animal parts, which seems to be a really current trend right now. Um, and, uh, you know, handmade sculpture, which, you know, you can't really argue with the artistry therein. But, uh, yeah, like what's working there? Well, for some odd reason right now, you get in a lot of antler content in a lot of contemporary design and a lot of contemporary work. I'm not really entirely sure why. It may be some kind of a return to masculinity in some capacity. You know, after you've got like years and years of sterile design, all of a sudden antler chandeliers are coming back fucking big time. Well, you know, if you can't bear to have a deer head on the wall in your dining room, maybe you can have human faces on deer heads, on actual deer heads. There's no plaques involved here though. It's just straight on the wall. Anyway. Um, Certainly interesting things going on there. I think we can all agree, kind of badass. Some antlers in there. It's pointy. It's fucked up. It's got a lot of good things going for it. Gentlemen, anyone to add anything? Uh, I don't know. Any questions? Sure, come on over. All right, sounds good. Who am I talking to? Uh, my name is Brendan Money. I work for Galerie Le Royer. All right, sounds good. So tell me about this particular artist and what's the big idea? Well, uh, her name is uh, Kate Clark. She's based out of New York. Uh, we're the first in Canada to uh, represent her. Uh, we're based out of Montreal. Uh, she's obviously working with sort of a distorted, beautiful decay of uh, taxidermy extraordinaire. Which uh, is turning into a kind of a, a big trend somehow at this year's yeah. art fair. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that taxidermy has become a, a, a new medium within sculpture. Uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it harkens to this idea of like preservation and and at the same time, there's something very uh, distorted about it. It's like the, the idea of the grotesque. Who's well, well, fucking a, yeah, right. I mean, but who's 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 starting with the this Im implementation of the uh, of the taxidermy? Is it Catalan in Europe? I beg your pardon. Maurizio Catalan is he the one who's really starting with the with the taxidermy, or is it just sort of impregnating everything right now? I just use the word impregnating. You really did just use the word impregnating while referring to something that is involving stuffing dead animals. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, I mean, all that being said, taxidermy becoming very big. It's grotesque, so it's like beautiful decay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're not actually shying away from the fact that it is actually genuinely about just making something semi-horrific. I think that that shock factor that was prominent in the 1990s with all that, like, slick stuff, Andre Serrano, Jeff Koons, it's, that's sort of done with now. They're looking, I think, young artists are looking for something a little more raw. They're looking for something a little more real, and that's why we're seeing artists like Ron Muick, right? Yeah. Who are doing crazy stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean that's all like silicon recreation yeah. of, you know, on a massive scale. And what you know what she's doing is she's actually making the molds, and then she's actually uh, wrapping the deer skin directly over. So the it's not the faces are attached to the deer so much as the deer is attached to the faces. To the face. I think so. I think that would be the way to put it. That's fucked up. Fucking A. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. No problem. All right.